Yeah. No. Of course, dude. Everybody whole audience, as soon as you say something like that, uh, have you ever just talked to God? I mean, don't they know how mentally ill that sounds? Is it, what, is it a voice in their head? Is <laughs> it just talk to God? Of course not. He's an atheist. As I'm like, we don't talk to gods. <laughs> that was one of the silliest things there in my life. Except for uh, Elizabeth and her, and her funny little line about how she says, uh, I question religion, you know. And then the very next sentence, she, she says, you know, why just go blindly into it? He says, but faith is important. <laughs> you can't have it both ways, okay? And you went to college. You learned critical thinking and how to get empirical evidence to prove your hypothesis, the theory, whatever. You, yeah. Now, having done that and at least putting on enough facade to make me give the to give me the impression that you are intelligent. Do you feel your mind slipping away from your delusional part, the, the deity thing, and find yourself giving giving yourself credit and also taking responsibility for what you do? Instead of having to say all these Hail Marys and everything to get forgiven by this magic man in the sky. Oh, I was talking to you, Elizabeth. Sorry. Hey, the whole point is, it's just because of a funny show. I really did not. We'll be. I'm surprised I am. I know how you changed your name to the Jew Goldberg so you would sound like you were Jewish so they'd hire you into Hollywood. Okay, I get that. But that just shows your character. So when you say things like you're a Christian, so anybody in their right mind is. Well, they might say they are. Or even say something like. What do you mean? Most of my friends have PhDs, their master's degrees, and at least half of them believe in God. Trust me, that's nothing to brag about nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. You know, everybody, it's like the candidates even. I mean, it's the 21st century, and we have candidates arguing over whose religion is best, I guess. Or whatever. Who is a Muslim? He's a Muslim. <laughs> so what? You're all delusional. The whole thing. That you know that God deal and the miracles and the whole prayer thing and the rituals and the tens of millions of dollars for a house of worship with starving people sitting against the wall outside. <laughs> you guys. It cracked me up, man. I was watching this church being built. Sheer north here. No, Cameroon. They built a ten million dollar basilica. And the people working it you know, get paid like pittance, almost nothing. There's mostly volunteers. It's just the church didn't have the money to pay them. In the poorest country in the world. Spent ten million dollars to build a fucking basilica. This goes to show you. Just because you place a man on a pedestal doesn't mean he deserves to be there. Like our friend Mr. Ratzenberger here nowadays, right now. Yeah, all of this stems from, you know, you guys' discussion all stems from all this crap that's being thrown at people. This religious hogwash that's, you know, different at every turn. You know, you, you guys would even love it that you would really want to have, you want to be this Christian nation a theocracy for crying out loud it seems it's silly absolutely silly way out of line in fact one of the worst things Obama did as far as I'm concerned, I'm kind of a liberal you know, it's going in front of those people in Egypt and saying I've got Muslim in my family Islam in my family but I'm a Christian <laughs> That'd be the last thing they wanted to hear. 
But no, he just kind of spout his big old fat mouth out and I just, I'm really disappointed in that man, but I'm more disappointed in all the people that are known to be intelligent, know how to think critically, learned how to gather, you know, empirical evidence to prove your point, and, and yet will say, and even like brag that they, well, I still believe in God, I, I mean, I believe there's a God, I, or whatever way you want to put it, is either psychotic or just a liar because they want to be accepted. An appeaser, one might say. An appeasement of evil, as a matter of fact. Irrational appeasement of evil. That's all it is. You, I mean, you, you're, you, there's no way to be that intelligent be able to learn that much four years of real college, real thought, you pass your grades, you, and even high school, you all learn about all the myths in the world, the goofy ideas mankind's had throughout the world, until you start talking about Jesus and shit, and yet even teachers act as if that's real. It doesn't even come up in studies of mythology. Like Edith Hamilton's book of mythology, the Homer, the Iliad, the Odyssey, the or Homer, right, you know, the Iliad, the, the Iliad, the Odyssey, and all, all these different stories, Plato's story about Atlantis, and the, all those myths, but funny that, that Jesus in, in the one God thing was uh, whatever, absent, as if it were real history. Excuse me. And here we are in the 21st century, still arguing whether our religion should be in our government or not. I'm just sick of that. After all the things we've seen that people using religion as a tool do the most heinous acts. Because it takes a real evil person to be religious and still act mean or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But you guys, you know, keep up the good work, Bill. But, uh, Ms. Hasloff, you know, you're it. It's not about, you know, you say, question religion and, and don't go in there blindly. And yet you, you say, that faith is important. What do you think faith is? You're blindly, you already do blindly believe in your God. I don't even know where you're coming from. You're, you're, you're biased from the very beginning. So say it, that's why Bill said, huh? <laughs> No one believes you. You don't question religion. You fight about it. Good night, girls. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs>